So in the last video, where we uh, where we ended up was this here. With um, I exported this uh, the website at uh, Wireframed in Responsive Layout Maker, and uh, we had this here, which is what the website was uh, basically like in uh, Responsive Layout Maker. So what, how do we like put the flesh on the on the bones, if you like? So if we just drop that down slightly, and we'll do this in the editor. And so a lot of people are getting a little bit confused about what the responsive layout maker does. Well, that really does the wireframe, the scaffold, and uh, the, it, it builds the bricks and the roof. But what you need to do is you need to, with the editor, you need to furnish the house. So how we do this is uh, in, when you see this actually here, you, you're looking at uh, the normal uh, lorem ipsum dollar uh, which is the Latin paragraphs thing, which is you, you can use anything you want there. You can put in wh whatever uh, your website is about. So what we're going to do here is if we just go over to the, uh, if, if people are familiar with the HTML editor, uh, they'll know about all these uh, files and columns on the, on the left hand side. And most editors come pretty similar. Anyway, here I just want to talk a, bit, a little bit about this file here. It's the IMG. So any images that you uh, have, this is the image by default. Well, we don't really want that in um, because that's what uh, the uh, responsive layout maker is doing. We want our own. So I'm going to come out and what I've done is if we just knock this down a little bit and we knock this down, um, I have uh, four images there. I think I only need three, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, um, this is just on my desktop. I'll just show there. That's just on the desktop and, and they're images for this website. So what I'm going to do is um, this is Acousta, this is the Scorps, this is uh, Shock and Pink and Unplugged, which is uh, probably my favorite rock band. But anyway, this is uh, what I'm going to do is just find the, uh, the IMG image again. And I'm going to put, just drag them there, and I'm going to put these, if that would just help us a little bit, and it's not going to, but anyway, we just go over here and we're going to pop them into that um, <clears throat> into the image folder there. So that should go in there and uh, there they are. So what we're going to now do is we're going to go back into the editor. We now know that this is the, uh, the actual IMG folder and that's got the images in. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. On here in, uh, in the coffee cup um, HTML. This is, uh, like I said, this is the, the website that we're working on. So here is the uh, default logo that RLM made, um, image that RLM made, which is the logo. So we're just going to knock that down. We'll go to insert and we go to image and we'll find our, um, uh, our thing there. So go to the Scorpions Go to Rock Band Exported IMG and we'll put in uh, Scorps. So we'll just see that there. We'll put OK. So now we see this here. And now that is the Scorps. And uh, in the normal website, we would, we would have the same color as the, um, we'd have the same color there as the uh, logo to this as well so that would neaten it up uh, uh, this is just time consuming and things like that but uh, that's how you would do it normally but we can see now that uh, how we can actually uh, furnish this house if you like so we're going to take away that head and level one as well so we just do that with with that so we save that and now we have the scorpions and uh, I didn't actually know that that was the same color as the nav bar. Anyhow, that's uh, the scorpions, the heading thing's gone now and we're just going to put another image in, um, in here. And so we're going to uh, go there and where else? This here, I found where that image is and it's just under the block coat. So we take away that image 
and we'll insert another one. So we just go there and we'll find, um, what should we see? Oh, the batteries run. That always happens when I'm doing videos. Anyway, shock and pink scopes, acoustic, I think we'll put in there. There we go. And so if we just file save that again and we put the tools and there we are. So now I will, that's, you know, this is a very rough guide. This is uh, not how I, I would take a lot more time and uh, care and how to do it. But this is how we now like, how we um, do our bespoke, if you like, website. And, and this is uh, this is how it all works out. So this, um, the confusion over how uh, RLM works with the editor, I think it's um, all, all it really is, is the responsive layout maker is the is the fern is the uh, is the building blocks of how to do it the editor is the one that furnishes now if we just knock all these indexes up at the top off and uh, i'll show how that really works with um the responsiveness so here we have we have the uh, the laptop that i'm on and if we just keep going along you see we just drag it along that'll be something like it looks on the tablet you see it still looks quite good and now we go into smartphone territory and again it still looks really nice so i hope uh, i hope that's cleared uh, some things up for for people that were a little bit confused yes it, it is a challenge to to use uh, responsive layout maker at first but it really is a good program so i hope you've uh, found something you've you've uh, getting from uh, this uh, little video. So thanks for watching and listening.